Today's all about space, from movies to a moon landing. Stay tuned for what we're discussing today. That's right, we'll talk about all this today on the fresh new episode of The Brave Club. Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Gia. And I'm TJ. We're here with your co-host Campbell and AJ. Yeah. Hey. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, oops. How's you guys week? Good. Good. What did you guys do this week? Um, I went out. Oh. <laughs> what? I went out, guys. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh, same. Oh. Asleep. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Well, before we get started, as always, let's take a look at the weather. Another private U.S. company took a shot at the moon Thursday, launching a month after Arrival's lunar lander missed its mark and came crashing back. SpaceX's Falcon rocket blasted off in the middle of the night from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, dispatching Intuitive Machine's lunar lander on its way to the moon, 230,000 miles away. The lunar lander resembled a stunning six-pointed star jewel, each point a leg, as it successfully separated from the upper stage and drifted off into the black void with the blue earth far below. If all goes well, a touchdown attempt would occur February 22nd af after a day in lunar orbit. Only five countries, the US, Russia, China, India, and Japan have scored a lunar landing and no private business has yet done so. The US has not returned to the moon's surface since the Apollo program ended more than five decades ago. That's, That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we're going back, but... Do you think we could see, like, the rocket on the moon? No. No. It's, <laughs> like, so far. So, like... like a, that rocket would have to be... Than an I'll, like, I'll pull out my telescope. Yeah. I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we have for entertainment today. Yesterday, Marvel made the official announcement of the cast highly anticipated Fantastic Four movie. The superhero quartet, the first characters created for Marvel Comics by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, will be played by Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, and Ebon Moss Barbrach as the Ben Grimm, as Ben Grimm, aka the Thing. As usual with Marvel, story details remain secret, but in the comics, the Fantastic Four are astronauts who were made into superheroes after they're exposed to cosmic rays in space. Reed gains the ability to stretch his body to astonishing lengths. Sue Reed's girlfriend and eventual wife can manipulate light to become invisible and cast powerful force fields. Johnny, Sue's brother, can turn his body into fire, which gives him the ability to fly. And Ben, Reed's best friend, is totally transformed to, well, a thing, with, a gi with giant orange boulders for a body, giving him super strength. The movie is set to hit theaters next year. Wow. I'm just cool. gonna go That's see cool. it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see it. I'm just because cool. Pedro's in there. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I used they to play this game, and it, like, it was like the Fantastic Four game. It was fun. Oh. Yeah. But let's go to Avanti for sports and culture. February is Black History Month, and we're taking time out to acknowledge the teams of African Americans in the United States. Let's check out today's Black History clip. <laughs> <laughs> When NASA astronaut Victor Glover arrived at the International Space Station roughly 250 miles above Earth on a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule in November 2020, he settled in for a six-month stay to become the first black astronaut to live and work on ISS for an extended period of time. Of the more than 300 NASA astronauts who have been to space, only 14 have been black Americans. 
Before becoming a NASA astronaut, Glover was a commander and test pilot in the U.S. Navy, where he flew 2,000 hours in over 40 aircraft and 24 combat missions. Glover got his bachelor's degree in general engineering from California Polytechnic State University in San Luis Obispo, California, and received multiple related graduate school degrees, including a master's degree in flight test engineering from Air University and a master's in systems engineering from the Naval Postgraduate School. It was Glover's fifth grade science teacher at Allison Elementary in Pomona, California, Mr. Hargrove, who inspired Glover to pursue STEM, an area where blacks in the U.S. are underrepresented, and black and Latino students drop out of STEM degrees at higher rates than their white peers. My interest in math encouraged him to suggest that I consider engineering. At the time, I didn't know any engineers. Glover told Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Josh Dobbs during a January 15th interview from on board the ISS. But Mr. Hargrove's belief in me still continues to resonate with me today and is one of the reasons I chose engineering as a profession. Well, let's check out today's 10 second trivia. What year was the very first moon landing from the United States? 1963, 1969, 1961, or 1972? 1969. Let's move over to lifestyle. For lifestyle today, a 25-year-old elementary teacher, Shelby Lattimore, wanted to engage her students to be excited about learning. In this attempt, she came with a conclusion to start assigning her students jobs with paychecks and charging them with rent. This motivated her students to be more engaged with learning. Not just motivating, motivating them, it also taught them finan financial responsibilities and literacy. She created her own classroom economy with rents, paychecks, bills, or fines, depending on the student's behavior. If the student has bad behavior, she makes them pay fines or double rent. She also has a reward chart separated into low, middle, and high prices. Posting all this stuff on TikTok, Shelby recently went viral. Oh, I watch her on TikTok. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, imagine her videos like, are like so funny. <laughs> <laughs> imagine like teachers here started doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So but we're in middle school. Not, she teaches what? elementary. Huh? What? What? People think it's so good in middle school. Okay, uh, that would be weird. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I would love to pay rent. Oh. Yeah, I would um, <laughs> Wait, didn't they do something similar to that? We should have warrior bucks. We already oh, have warrior idea. bucks. Really? Warrior bucks. Oh. Like, like money. I thought you said blocks. I'm like, we already have warrior blocks. <laughs> well, and now let's check out our warrior updates. We're excited to announce our very first Cane Share the Love food drive for the month of February. We will be collecting non-perishable items for our very own food pantry. The food pantry helps families within the Sanford Middle School community. Contact Ms. Kendall for more information. It is officially Black History Month and to celebrate SMS is having a talent contest. Showcase your talent through song, dance, music, skits, or poetry. Be sure to check the entry guidelines and send in your entries by February 16th. For more information, see Mrs. James. Cheer trials will be held February 27th through the 29th at 5.45 on Tuesday and Thursday and 5 o'clock on Wednesday. Students must have a parent consent form, wear athletic clothing, and attend all three days. For more information, contact Coach Taylor or Coach Ventry. Basketball trials will be held February 26th through the 29th for boys and girls. Please pay attention to the flyer to know the times and dates. Students must have a parent consent form that they can pick up from the front office or any coach. And that's about it for updates. <laughs> <laughs> Students, just a reminder to check in for the goals you've set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember the cell phone and tardy policy. <coughs> no earbuds or phones during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember, you are brave. Believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and you see, we'll see you right here next time on The Big Club. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>